Won't you play with me? Welcome back! We're playing Nickel Para! Here we go! <laughs> Deep stare, stare, stare. Yeah! <laughs> You're playing with a cat toy? Or is that bread or something? What is happening? What is this game? What? Give me an awesome screensaver though. Shoot, shoot. Stare. Stare. What? This is the game. This is the gameplay. Shop. I would buy all these cats. What is happening? You two really are cats <laughs> and girls. <laughs> that was how I felt watching those two <laughs> get so engrossed in a regular cat toy. Oh, you're taking them to a cat star. Well, it did say go ahead, so for now I'll just let them play with it. This is amazing. Hmm, where can I find books on cat girls? <laughs> Any store in Japan. As I looked around the store, an apron-clad shop clerk came up to me. Is there anything I can help you with? Uh, do you have any books on raising cats? The, the humanoid kind? <laughs> that sounds really weird for me to say. I hope you... <laughs> yes, uh, certainty. They would be over here. <laughs> wow, there sure are a lot of books on cat girls. I was so taken aback by the tightly packaged amount of books on cat girls, my thoughts happened to slip out. A cat girl's feelings, cat girl education, cat girls at full speed or not. Bestseller, New York Times, or whatever. I didn't understand the last one, but in any case, uh, there were a lot of books. Well, there are a lot of these kinds of books. When it comes to cat girls, each individual one is different. Even though you cats can communicate with words, so if you just talk with them, you should be able to work things out. Are you those cat girls, Master? <laughs> oh, no, my little sister is her owner. Wait, no, I'm their owner. <laughs> I thought I should do a bit of studying up on them. I see. I'll bring you some recommended books then. Please wait a minute. It did feel awkward to declare that I was their owner. But to be able to say that I was their owner was also something that made me a bit happy. <laughs> I got two cute girls. <laughs> Uh, I would say it is part of my caring personality. <laughs> a wry smile formed on my face as I watched the two of them frantically slap the cat toy from a distance. Wait, they're still doing it? Thank you for waiting. How about this book? Shop clerk came back and handed me a book. Cat girls, you're one to adulthood. If that's what you want to have on your plate, then maybe it would be better to learn about the special characteristics of cat girls instead of how to raise them. At this point, I don't think you need to teach them how to speak, use the restroom, or take a bath after all. They can just go without those things. But it also covers topics related to adult cat girls, including mating seasons and physical development. <coughs> Jesus. <coughs> right, that would be important. That's exactly what I want to know about. I rapidly flip through the pages. Eating habits to promote growth, mating seasons. Stable period during pregnancy! This is a weird ass book. Cat girl training. What used to deal with cat girls? <laughs> oh my gosh. Cat girl personalities. Schooling. I wanna read that book. It covered topics all the way to athletic competitions involving cat girls. Whether a partner for life, partner for work, or partner for hobbies. The relationship between owner and cat girl in various ways is like one of the family. <laughs> It may not be great compared to books covering specific topics, but I think it's a decent one to start with. How about... I don't know. But even so, those cat girls over there have been raised very well. I think you'll be fine as long as they're able to talk like humans. You're right. They seem better raised than I was. <laughs> I suddenly remember not too long ago when Chocolate and Vanilla managed to talk me out of sending them home. As an owner, I'd better study up. Put some newspapers down. With that thought in mind, I handed the, the book back to this shop clerk. 
In that case, I'd like to buy this! Alright, thank you very much. Uh, also, there's one more thing. Hmm, <coughs> what is it? Just what is going on over there? Your cat girls seem to be really enjoying something. But... Over there? Ah! <laughs> oh my god, they're all sweaty and tired. Kill you, kill you! I'm dying! At this rate, just a little die! <laughs> Alright. They, they batted it too hard. The only way you'll pass through is over my dead body. Oh, I told Master. Until we get to blow us. This tiny cat girl. Dies. Well, I guess I'll get that toy too. <laughs> you want them to play like that at home too, eh? Also, do you have any drinks? Thank you very much. Sometimes I really wondered if their heads were screwed on right. Well, they're cats, I mean. Alright. Watching the two cat girls roll around as if on the verge of death suddenly made me feel anxious. <laughs> this game is brilliant. Oh, sorry, Master. I got a little carried away. No matter how much common knowledge we take in, we can't go against what is normal behavior for us cat girls. Well, I'll hang this up in the room. So play with it all you want. Ah! That's awesome. He's a good master. Mm. Their eyes flickered towards the toy that was just jutting out of the plastic bag. I guess on a genetic level, they really were cats. The shop clerk did tell me. That's just how things are, after all. <laughs> hey, Master, could you stop by the drugstore? Huh? I wasn't planning on it. Was there something you wanted? Birth control pills. Well, if you put it that way, then yes, it's something like that. Is that all right? I guess if you want to go, then we can go. Using such unclear words was uncharacteristic of Vanilla. Mm, there's something she's embarrassed about. Just the other day, I had bought her a full set of hair care products. <laughs> I guess there was some medicine I wanted to stock up on, so I didn't mind. Okay, let's go then! Mm -hmm. Let's go. Objective achieved. <laughs> Target acquired. Objective? Cat girls have lots of money too, you know. Huh? Well, that's fine, I guess. Your speaking is so strange. Maybe cat girls' lives aren't that easy. I thought about that as we headed towards the drugstore. Do 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 do. Life is so happy. Hey, hey, master. What's menstrual pain? Ah! They're going there. They're seriously going there. I'm embarrassed now. Ah! Uh, could menstrual pain be? It's the pain in your muscles when you're cleaning, right? Chocolate, very perceptive. It's something like that. Look. Can you keep it down, okay? Stares from others in the store were piercing me once again. This is embarrassing. Duh. So awkward. Please try to understand my situation. Ooh. In any case, why don't we go that way? There should be some medicine over there. Medicine? <laughs> Cat girls are actually robots. Mm. Wow. We are going on a my doll mission. <laughs> this is top grade quality gaming here. Yeah. By the way, what kind of medicine are you buying, Master? Mm. <laughs> you take medicine when you're hurt or in pain, right? <laughs> you hurt somewhere, Master? Let me look it for you. In my case, will make it better if you go to the hospital? It's just some household medicine. Thanks for your concern. I calmed down the concerned Chocola, who was right up in my face. Household medicine is the kind of medicine you buy, just in case something happens at home. But when Chocola had a fever and was pain, Master took Chocola to the hospital, right? That time wasn't normal. Chocola is a cat girl, too. If you only have a slight cold, the medicine from the local store should be more than enough. Aww, Chocolate and 
understand. There's a lot of different things to learn about humans. It's pretty good, see? She picked up various medicine boxes and looked at them with admiration. On that note, was it okay for cat girls to take regular human medicine? A while ago, I saw that Shigure had some medicine that said shit or something on it, but... Ah, there's a clinic next door! If they don't have the right medicine here, well, can you go next door, right? As expected of human civilization, everything is made to be so convenient! Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> Answer her vaguely. <laughs> Nobody talks like this. Ah, well, Chokla hasn't been to a hospital for for humans before, after all. Really? Oh, okay. It's alright as long as she understands more or less what they are. Huh? Where's Vanilla? Mm -hmm. well, now that you mention it, Chocola doesn't see her. Before I realized it, uh, Vanilla had vanished. Hold that. One second. He needs an update. Alright, back to this. <laughs> Sorry guys. Wasn't she the one that said she wanted to go to the drugstore too? Ah, chocolate can smell vanilla scent over there. Smells like vanilla. Mm. By over there, do you mean outside of the store? I turned to where chocolate was pointing and saw that she was pointing outside. Huh? What's happening? Whoa. Mm -hmm. Huh? My dear Chocolata, did you call me? All of a sudden, Nilla came back inside the store! Oh my god, what's gonna happen next? Huh? Vanilla? Where did you go? I just went to pick up some flowers. <laughs> I mean, no. You clearly came from outside the store just now. I pointed towards the sign for the restrooms inside the store. There's no reason for Vanilla to lie, though. Wait, she is a cat, so does it mean that she... Could it be that you didn't know what a restroom was and went outside to... Oh! <laughs> Perfect! That's really rude of you, Mester. <laughs> and she's gonna punch me, for real. Like this. Super pervert, what an awful person. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true, huh? <laughs> There's no way that would be the case, right. Sorry. Vanilla's face was red with rage as I earnestly apologized. Well, I don't know, all cat girls in the bathroom. So that's how Vanilla looks when she gets angry, huh? 1% different. Add 5% blush. <laughs> it's difficult to make sense of cat girls' pride. <laughs> They're so cute. In any case, we should hurry back and prepare for the bakery's opening. It's tomorrow, after all. Did she get her mind all? So Chocolate and vanilla will help out too, Master! It's gonna be a tall order, so I'm counting on you two. Bye! Okay. Wow. That was... I think that was the climax in this game. Sweet. Aww, oh, they're back in their outfits. Look at so cute. Okan, have you decided on what you'd like to order? Are you, are you talking to me? There's not enough heart in it. Be more flirty and sexy. <laughs> All they're practicing. So cute. Woo woo! Sexy, huh? Nice and cushy. Okay, let's try what's more from the top. Oh, welcome! <laughs> oh, sorry. Honestly, blame me. Ignore what I just said. <laughs> That's her sexy? Just for the record, this isn't that kind of bakery, okay? Welcome! Our bakery's recommendation is cakes! Oh, they're super cute. I just want to take those pigtails and tug, tug, tug. <laughs> what good is it if a customer walks into a bakery and you recommend cakes to them? Wouldn't it be a problem to recommend stuff aside from cakes? Well, that is true, but... While I was making preparations for tomorrow, the poster girls were off to the side practicing greetings. I thought I heard them say they were going to help earlier, but oh well. Well, what I was doing could be done by one person for now, at least. Hmm, so that's it? I had a taste of the custard I just made. <laughs> there were no clumps, and the taste was uniform. The sweetness was superb, too. Now then, next I need to work on the pie dough. Stare. 
so weird. Did you, did you two want to have a taste? Are you, are you hungry? Yeah. You want some of my custard? Meow, yeah, just as expected a custard. Meow, meow. I handed the custard covered spatula over to them. Oh, oh God, they're going to double lick it. Oh, it's so good. Oh, you see? It tastes so good, Master. Oh, lick, lick. This is not overly sweet sweetness. Lick, lick. It makes me want to lick it more. What's happening here? Master, can we have a second taste test? I would also like a second serving. Okay, okay, understood. This is the last one, okay? This time I gave each of them a small spoon. Lick, 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 I guess. Fast, just like a cat. This is weird. It's awesome. And two of them were wholeheartedly licking their spoons. <laughs> I'm biting my tongue here. Well, I suppose their straightforwardness was sort of cute. <laughs> well, even though I did ask for assistance, you two are just cat girls after all. Okay, all you can do is lick. No, 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 that's not true. Chocolate can help, Master. Is there anything else you'd like me to lick? Mm. Chocolate came here just so she could taste test it. Well, uh, don't jump up like that all of a sudden. Oi! <laughs> it's dangerous already. I'm just a cat girl, so I'm fine with taste testing. Another serving master. Oh. <laughs> hey, Vanilla, don't just go and take more for yourself. That's a lot more than a mere taste test. <laughs> it's okay. If you run out, bounce. <laughs> Chocolate will make a lot more. So don't worry. You guys are gonna get fat. Oh, chocolate is getting fired up. I'm compelled to be excited with expectation about this. Stop right there, master. It's creepy how they just run to the camera. That's <laughs> so cute, though. Hmm. Chocolate, watch master make it so we'll be all right. I don't believe it's a chocolate. I'll kiss it. i Oh, first, pour milk in the bowl, and um, then you put in some barley seeds, was it? <laughs> it? It's vanilla bean. The customers aren't hamsters, you know. Chocolate, mm -hmm. since you have the opportunity, you should make a lot. Then we'll be in custard heaven. Okay, I'll do that. Give it to chocolate. Putting fresh cream in there should also make it even more yummy. Give it to me. <laughs> this is so awful. Oh, wait, this is heavy. Oh, Chocola, could it be that this is what one might call extreme high danger? Chicken. Meow. Oh, no, they're going to get covered in cream. Is there going to be a screenshot of that? Yeah. Oh, oh that's not cream. Wait. Oh, wait, whoa! Whoa! <laughs> what? How did we end up here? There's cream, and there's water, and there's cream, and there's a penguin! What? <laughs> this is so funny! They, uh, they fogged out some stuff. So it's okay. No worries, no worries, don't mind. It's fine, it's safe. That's so cute. Even their seats are matching. Oh, whoa, sorry, distracted on the scene too long. Ah, yeah, that's feel good. My cats didn't like water. Master, yeah, yeah. there's water in my eyes. That's why I told you not to open your eyes. Ugh, I'm gonna wash you up again. Yo, I can't get used to baths, yo. You reap what you sow, right? Come on, close your eyes. Sorry, this is a long one. I washed all the milk and fresh cream off chocolate and vanilla in the shower. It's a small blessing that the damage was just limited to you two, huh? Although, cleaning the bakery up can take a lot of effort. <laughs> chocolate, sorry! But she's not easy. it's been a long time since you've had a bath with Master. Uh, now that you mention it, that's true. Master's beating techniques haven't improved even a bit. This is so funny. Come on, you get that for opening your mouth? Okay. 
Just keep quiet for a bit. Take my water. Yo, look at your being a reasonable master. When they were young cat girls, I did occasionally bathe with them. But once they started to mature, <laughs> I refrained from getting in the bath with them. Whoa, we are zooming right in on that. I wasn't... It wasn't because I felt guilty or anything, though. Just keep, keep on zooming. <laughs> I censored out their tail tip. <laughs> Sorry. TMI. E ever since they were small, I've thought of them like little sisters. Maybe even daughters? What? Besides, they become more feminine to some degree, too. Yeah, I can see that. Wait a minute! They're cat girls! What am I doing? Thinking stuff like that while they're naked and I'm in control of their water? Oh god. What's wrong, Master? You're shivering like a wet kitten! <laughs> it's really... Is he really holding a shower head or is that something else? Ah, ah, it's nothing at all! Yeah, right! I was just thinking that your hair has gotten longer! On your head! <laughs> yeah, she could have said that our hair had a nice gloss to it, so we should let it grow up. We have done so since then. <laughs> I don't know why she's an evil smirk. The fact that Master noticed that it's gotten longer is because you haven't been with us in a long time, right? Well, she thinks it's a pain, so it can't be helped. He's someone who doesn't listen to the requests of his cat girls. Uh, though you two are cat girls, you're also maturing girls as well. <laughs> Have some shame, at least a bit. Shame? Hmm? Stupid attempt says that we're from shine to shine. <laughs> but when someone says that, nothing really comes to mind, meow. The cat girls who haven't entered meeting season yet, human emotions like those are difficult to understand. What? Mating season? You're bringing that up right now with the cream and the water and the naked nakedness? Oh my god. Sheesh! You two act like cats only when it's convenient, huh? Get on with the hanky panky. Come on, wash your heads now. With shampoo in my hands, I went to work and <laughs> into a lather in their hair. Wow. Their hair was beautiful and free of split ends thanks to Sugar's constant care. Do guys even know about split ends? Oh my gosh. Ripping. Even to the untrained eye, I could see the merit in having them grow out their hair. Master, how can you say that when you're clearly happy about it, Herbert? Master, why are you looking at chocolate that way? <laughs> you can't fool a cat girl's eyes. Your eyes have been closed the whole time, though, Manila. Besides, to think I'd lust for cat girls like you two. <laughs> When you're just like troublesome daughters to me, oh, <laughs> it's really weird. Why would he say that? Instant buzz. Get me. Yeah, the masters are Papa. Then that's not bad either. I don't like this. <laughs> it isn't a bad idea, so I'm willing to allow it. Okay. Yes, yes, it's my honor. Pleasant thoughts floated through my head as I stroked their hair. The idea of taking care of cute daughters didn't sound so bad to me. After all, even Shigure used to constantly follow me around long ago. Okay, may I remind you, this is actually an adult game. I'm just playing the version one without censored. Just want to throw it out there. I suppose it's okay for me to say I'm rather good at taking care of others. Come on! While I'm washing your hair, you better make sure to wash the rest of you too! <laughs> Don't forget your tails, either! Since we have a chance, please do it for us, Master! I already have my hands full of washing your hair! Oh, God. He's missing out on all these opportunities they're throwing. He's so much stingy, Master. Why don't I wash your tail as usual? Yeah, why don't you do that? Yeah, I'm gonna pour water over you again. Close your eyes and mouth and hold your breath! <laughs> Master, you deliberately poured it on my face! To my ears. Yeah. Yeah. Please keep chocolate on too, Master. Sorry, this is a really long one. Okay, okay, you're up next. 
It was a lot of effort, but this kind of change of pace might have been good. As I carefully washed their hair, the thought crossed my mind. Phew! What was that? I'm their papa. Alright, okay, well, it ended there. So, they are clean and ready for bed, I guess. Thank you for watching this one. It was truly awkward, but great and fantastical. You guys are awesome, as always. Please keep watching with me, okay? More Nicopiara. Pretty hot.